Welcome to our weekly ecosystem office hours call. I am your host, Jinx, and we are joined by the best and brightest in the pocket ecosystem. Uh, we'll kick off today with, uh, I don't see Fred here yet, but Mike, do you want to go ahead and uh, give updates on your side and then we'll shift to Fred once he's here? Yeah, sure. Hey, everyone. Um, I have a few updates to, to chat about. Um, one, uh, we're, we're moving forward on the, the new branding for the network. Um, I think we're making good progress on, on that. Um, I still think we are probably a month or two away from from having something um, uh, that we can that, that, that we can share uh, for the rebrand and the repositioning of the network. Um, I've been focusing a lot on the funding side for the foundation. Um, I uh, uh, wrote about uh, wanting to sell about 100K a month uh, to fund the foundation operations um, from some of my travels in Asia. Um, and some other conversations I've had with some investors, uh, I'm looking uh, uh, to, to to sell about a million to a million and a half dollars worth of pocket. Um, obviously, with uh, some level of, of vesting and lockup, uh, ideally more than two years, to a couple folks. Um, so that's going quite well right now, and um, hopefully in the next month or two, we'll be actually quite properly capitalized to be able to execute on several things. Um, actively uh, speaking on the, uh, speaking with folks on the hiring front as well. Um, I'm hoping that maybe by next week or the week after, uh, uh, we'll be able to introduce a couple new folks that'll be helping uh, on the foundation side, uh, particularly on the marketing and, and ops side. And the last thing I wanted to, to give an update on, um, we are actively uh, in an integration process with a, uh, a, a new exchange. It's not a T1 exchange, but um, I think what's really interesting about this is um, we'll actually have perps for the first time uh, with POCT. And I think this is really important for when it comes to uh, uh, kind of the sophistication and uh, the sophistication of the capital markets for, for POCT. Um, so those are the major updates. Um, I would expect uh, 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 as soon as I'm able to bring a couple people on, um, we'll start to see uh, a few of, uh, uh, particularly on the marketing side, uh, uh, some efforts start to start to come to fruition. Beautiful. Any questions or thoughts on it? Okay, well, that sounds like all good then. And to clarify rebranding, we're talking about the updating of the uh, the pocket visual branding and such, correct? Yes, correct. Beautiful. I know there have been some questions about that. Uh, we don't seem to have Fred here for our protocol slash Grove updates. Art, uh, can you cover any of that? I cover some of it. Um, uh, so for uh, we're closing the... F chains RFP this evening, and then going to be doing a kind of rolling launch of new archival only chains. We have, um, I think, almost every single chain covered at this point, and if not, uh, we'll leave the other chains that we don't have covered as is for the time being. Um, the again, the whole purpose here is to kind of meet, put the network where the customers want it, um, which is. Archival chains that have uh, robust support. So the idea here is that the foundation will be for a period of time uh, paying for these chains while uh, to help stabilize the network from the instability that we've had over the last three to four months. And then once I think there's going to be there's also going to be a testnet launch. I mean, sorry, a new launch of uh, the pocket protocol, which I don't have the exact number of how far. Um, we are in getting the validator upgrade, but once that launches, Mike will be able to also change the um, incentives um, or the, re the amount of pocket minted for those nodes, for those chains, um, which will help further with the centralization of the new chains and the new chain IDs. So that that is moving. Um, Fred has been putting together the final spreadsheet, which he will make public when it's done. Um, 
he's not here, so I don't want to add words into his mouth or misspeak, but that's kind of where we're at as of them, as of my conversation with him this morning. Uh, yeah, regarding just to that. Give, uh, real quick, Arthur, just to give a little bit of context there on the on the changes uh, for those that don't have it. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, I, I attempted to make some changes on the RTTM uh, for specific chains. Um, thankfully, we worked uh, on doing it on testnet first. We found some issues. And uh, thank you to uh, 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 the node runners who run testnet, especially, um, because uh, they, they actually were very quick to uh, help out and get testnet reset. And looks like we got those changes done pretty quickly. And like Arthur said, we'll be coordinating that protocol upgrade to be able to change the RTTM on specific chain IDs. I'm very excited about. And if you're a node runner and you haven't been participating in the full chain support conversation uh, that is in the uh, the Discord uh, channel for that, uh, it is your last chance today to submit a proposal to help support full chains on the network for which you will be compensated. Uh, I highly recommend adding that to your book of business. Uh, okay, cool. I'm just looking right now. It's about... 31% adoption. We need to be at 67.7%, if I recall, to be able to turn the switch. And we tend to be yep. like a little higher. Yep. So uh, on our way there. Um, okay, cool. A couple other updates. Um, all right. Last week, I spoke at MIT uh, about decentralized AI. Um, we I had a good uptick. The, the whole conference was basically about um, agents. Um, decentralized training, decentralized inference, and uh, using um, using underused, underprovisioned hardware to do all of this. I met a couple other uh, cool projects. I'm not going to name them here because I just they're all kind of private conversations. But I do have follow-up meetings scheduled with all of them and their specific partners to discuss how Pocket can fit into this thesis. Um, Testing out a, uh, a a one of many other many different theses theses about where Pocket could fit in an agentic universe. Um, so we got fortunate enough to be able to speak about it publicly and meet people really quickly. Um, secondly, uh, Bitcoin Finance, a totally other <laughs> venture here, is so we right as you all know from the last couple of weeks, we are partnered with Governor, which is a protocol that's launching soon. Um, because of that, we'll be launching Bitcoin back on pocket network um with this f chains relaunch uh we were just speaking to governor this morning um they should be they're already using grove under the hood to power some of the work that they're doing um they will then begin using bitcoin and then they're also going to introduce us to a bunch of the bitcoin l2s um in the next couple of weeks to see if we can some over the course of the quarter get those launched on pocket as well um and then on top of that i'll be doing a panel with them later today it'll be um It'll be actually right after this call at one o'clock Eastern. It'll be with Lit Protocol and uh, Bancor as well. Um, so yeah, it's basically going in all directions right now, kind of pushing forward across the board. Nice. That's good to hear. Any uh, any insight on <clears throat> on when we can see improvements in traffic uh, from some of these? Uh, so all of this requires the F chains to go live the RTTM protocol uh, stuff changes to go live. And then we're going to go back to our customers and, you know, at least from growth side, and I obviously we can we change that liquefy and the rest can go to their set of customers and say that, hey, the network's been stabilized, right? That's the whole point of what we're trying to do. And hopefully relays will be able to go back up. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, so if you haven't run your upgrades yet uh, and you're on the network, then please make that a priority because it's literally a requirement for the growth that we're all looking for. Uh, I see Sasquatch on the call. Do you guys have any uh, gateway updates on your side? Um, nothing too crazy. Um, still hopeful for... One of the new chains that we're talking to to come on board. One of the other, uh, one the other of the two has denied, so that's unfortunate. And yeah, we signed on some local projects <coughs> or like uh, community projects from the Ray Guild network, so that's fun. Um, just one thing 
just to call out, I don't know if this is necessarily appropriate. Maybe this is a longer discussion and I would like some input from other gateway operators or maybe the Grove team is um, in our conversations with RPC consumers, we're seeing a lot that are saying, no, thank you. We're covered by Caldera or Caldera type options. So the role business service providers. Um, and so would like to talk to someone about how to counteract that or if there's any other services that people have been thinking about providing. Um, so I guess just a call for opinion there. And feel free to handle that outside this call if you want to just DM me. So that's it. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Uh, anybody have any feedback on that or do you want to follow up outside? I can probably provide some color because I've had a bunch of conversations with the RAS providers. So RAS being roll up as a service. So Alchemy is doing a big shift into that. There's Caldera, there's Gelato, there's Third Web, and there's one or two others that I'm forgetting. So basically these are launch platforms that will launch an L2 for you um, and provide you the RPC service. And if you need any other, uh, any sequencing or validation, if that's required for whatever Fact you're building on top of, they will provide that out of the box. So the question here is, if um, if these companies are doing everything all at once for you out of the hood, is there a place to have a second provider? Uh, I had a conversation. You know, we've been, we're connected with Zarian, and Zarian's launching their own L2 on top of zk Sync, I believe. Um, I, I might be confusing them with another one, but they were they were using Caldera. Um, and so they're not looking for another RPC provider. So um, Sasquatch, I, I am I have seen the same thing at the moment. Um, I don't have an, uh, uh, an opinion, but um, I did speak with Third Web a few months back, and they were interested in working with Pocket Network. Um, I think if I maybe send them your way, given you have more flexibility right now, that might be a better approach um, because they also launch new chains, um, but they. Um, they, I think, were looking to have an RPC partner, but this was during a period of time where things were a little bit uncertain at Grove and Pocket, so we paused it. But now, you know, I, I still have access to them, and I can maybe spin that conversation back up if you want to ping me on the side. Beautiful. Anybody else have any insights to add there? Okay. Any other gateway updates this week? Take that as a no. All right, then. So we're at the open uh, topic portion of the call. Uh, does anybody have any questions, comments, compliments, complaints? or uh, anything else that you'd like to bring up as a general uh, point of conversation? Um, I don't know how many times this has been said uh, on this call yet today, but um, for the F chain launch, there are still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains that have no bids. Um, if you are interested, the, I'm closing the RFP today. Um, otherwise, those chains will remain as non-F chains. But if you're interested in making some cash incentive for providing these chains, please enter a bid by the, this evening, Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, sir. And to be clear, you will both be paid for running the chains and, of course, be serving uh, the lion's share of traffic to those chains. So double bonus there uh, if you've got the space to run it. Oh, you mention what's... Yeah, go ahead, Lowell. Yeah, could you mention what are the other blockchains that doesn't have a bid? Yeah, I put them in the in the channel um, right now, uh, in, or for the full chain support channel. That's where all ha that's where they're listed. I'll put that in the chat. But to read them out, they're Phantom, Kaya, Kava, Metis, Oasis. Op B and B and Osmosis. Thanks, sir. Perfect. Thank you, sir. 
if you've got any spare infra, that's uh, an easy way to get paid for it. And I think Kava had a pretty decent amount of traffic coming through before uh, they fell off, right? That's correct. And one of their primary complaints was that archival support was spotty. Gotcha. So if you're looking for a way to bump up your performance for your Node Runner customers, there's an easy route. Any other topics on people's minds? Well, I'm happy to give you uh, some of your time back. If nobody else has got anything to cover, we'll leave the mic open for another minute or so and see if anybody's got any thoughts they want to bring up. Anything related to the ecosystem is fun. I'll ask this because I've been wondering. Um, does anyone have any pushback to the F chain launch? And if so, I'd I'd love to hear it, and I think it should be publicly voiced. Sounds like that's a no. Okay. Well, if nobody else has got anything, then we'll call it there. Uh, we'll see we have all a question again. in the chat. Anaski, Anaski, Anaski asked, uh, how long oh, will we be keeping high RTTM and 70% to the DAO? Um, the yeah, that's a good question. Um, the RTTM uh, for specific chains, um, I think, uh, will continue for at least, let's say, three to six months to see what the impact is. Obviously, we will adjust uh, as as needed. Um, the, the goal here is to make some changes to the impact is and, and kind of iterate over time. Uh, the DAO, uh, Treasury, uh, 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 Inflation is uh, going to be capped at a, at twenty percent. Uh, uh, so we'll 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 bring that down once we hit twenty percent of the total supply uh, in the Dow Treasury. Other questions about that? Uh, well, th th thank thank you, Mike, for 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 your answer. Still. Uh, I tried to do a benchmark last week to understand and to see if there are any other networks doing this. Uh, I can't find any uh, taking as much as 70% to the DAO for a long time. So I'm just uh, asking what, what, why we're doing that like this, uh, why we have such a huge amount going to the DAO. Uh, and I understand that we, we need liquidity, but at the same time, this going to the DAO directly, it's not going to uh, inflate uh, the, uh, the liquidity on the market. Yeah, that's correct. So so roughly the, the current um, inflation for non-treasury uh, uh, pocked uh, is roughly the same as it was before. Um, the key thing about uh, increasing the DAO treasury uh, to as high as it is, is to one, fund future operations of the foundation, and two, um, 
uh, provide future incentives. For example, uh, what, what Fred and, and Arthur have been talking about, um, as well as some other future incentives, for example, for incentivized testnet, um, anything else post Shannon, um, these sorts of things. Okay, okay, I, I understand. Uh, we will all become a VCs to uh, to pocket it. Okay, uh, but still, uh, uh, I feel like it's a high uh, high number to the DAO, high percentage taken to the DAO, and uh, that's why I, I was looking uh, into other networks, uh, other blockchains, and I can't find any. So I'm just asking questions here. Yeah, I think um, you know we're in a, and these are. These are great questions. Um, I just think we're in a unique position to be able to do something like this. Um, and again, um, uh, always open to, to feedback on, on this sort of thing as well. Um, but ultimately, um, we need to be able to uh, incentivize and, and capitalize um, uh, uh, the operations of, of the network. And, you know, at least for the couple weeks that we've had it live, you know, we haven't seen um, a material impact on, and in fact, it's been quite helpful uh, from 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 my perspective um, to be able to have more flexibility with different types of funding conversations. Okay, thank you. Any other questions about that? I see the HT is typing. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about this perpetual th frog in my throat today. Yeah, the DAO needs a word chest to push, so it's all good. I mean, that's that's generally it. Uh, the the DAO needs to be uh, replenished, given uh, its low resources. All right. Well, I don't see anybody else typing or coming off mute, so I guess we'll call it there. But we will see you again next week. Same time, same channel. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.